I've been a friend of this year's Distinguished Service Award winner for many years. We've welcomed Dan Hicks into our living room on so many weekend afternoons for so many historic sports moments. Expect anything different? His career broadcasting sports began at CNN. Then he moved to NBC Sports, where he's been an integral part of 11 Olympic Games. has hosted golf for two decades and covered an impressive variety of sports, including Ironman, tennis, speed skating, and football. Dan, you've generously given your time and support to the local golf community. Uh, what's special about the Metropolitan section to you? First of all, it is just a great spirit of golf. Anybody that's spent any time in this area knows the special places that you can go, special places that you can play, but I think even more so, it's the spirit of the people that live around here. You're a history buff in the game and you enjoy its traditions, but I also know that you've been a supporter for youth and caddying in particular. Well, I'm, I'm a huge, huge fan of caddies. I think they represent a special fabric and texture to the game that I think has to be protected. And I think it's also an unbelievable avenue for young kids to get turned on to the game, but more importantly, get used to dealing with people maybe outside of their element, outside of their friends at school, showing up, being professional. Yeah, they get a little change in their pocket at the end of the day, but it's so much more that I think that they learn lessons of a lifetime. The MGA's Distinguished Service Award is the highest honor presented annually by the association. It recognizes individuals who have contributed distinguished service to golf and its related activities, people who uphold the standards and honorable traditions of the game. It's incredible. I look at the names and the people that have been honored, and I'm, I'm absolutely humbled, flattered, and, uh, and just wondering you know, do I belong with this group of people? Hey, Dan, congratulations on your MGA Distinguished Service Award. Well-deserved, pal. You're one of the great guys in golf. This is a great award that you certainly deserve. Uh, so proud to be your friend and so proud to be a colleague of yours at NBC Sports. I think you have a responsibility to take that role and to have an impact with it. So a young kid comes up and says to me, hey, do you have a couple moments? I'm, I'm interested in getting into sports broadcasting. I'm, those are the times when you have to take time. Because I remember when I was a young kid, I was that kid that needed that helping hand. You want me to talk? <laughs> I was just going to say, how do you begin, Payne? And I always told myself, be one of those guys that's going to look down the ladder and help somebody else up. So this award to me means that maybe I've I've helped a few young people along the way, and also that I've given people a chance to enjoy the sports that they love a little bit more. These are not easy to get on. Let's see how that <laughs> works. Yours. I've learned so many lessons from playing golf, and I always remember what my good friend Roger Malpe and all the days at NBC Sports used to tell me. I used to get a little frustrated out there, especially playing with him and some of the other guys that played on tour for a livelihood, and I was like, God, you guys make it look so easy. And he'd say, Dan, come over here for a second. I'd come in, he'd say, it's a hard game. <laughs> I'd be like, you're right, take a deep breath. But that's life, that's the game of golf, and I think it teaches you that. Well, that's terrific. Despite the great honor, I'm not giving you an extra shot on Saturday. <laughs> I'm out of here then. That's the end of the interview. <laughs> Jeff, always good to be with you, pal. Thank you so, so much. <laughs>